Hey nerds, it's Tiri. Welcome back to my show. Topics of today include the status of the arena competitions for BlizzCon 2015, this week's Blizzard Gamescom contest topic, what's new with World of Warcraft's Hellfire Citadel, and some Comic-Con coverage, mostly regarding the Warcraft movie. If you're in Australia or New Zealand and you want to compete in the BlizzCon 2015 arena matches, you have until Friday, July 17th at midnight to register for the arena matches happening on July 18th at 11 a.m. Check the link in the description for more information. Leading up until Gamescom, Blizzard is holding a contest and giving away lots of digital loot. If you're interested, hashtag battle and hashtag blizz. GC 2015, how you like to compete in or out of game. That's this week's topic. They'll have another two topics in the next following weeks. Yesterday, World of Warcraft's Halls of Blood for the new raid Hellfire Citadel opened up, which is the second wing for looking for raid. The bosses include Hellfire High Council, Kilrog, Deadeye, and Gorefiend. You need an item level of 650 to queue up for this looking for raid wing, which you can obtain item level 675 or item level 685 gear, as well as the Tomes of Chaos needed for We Don't Need No Library Card, which is a quest leg of the Legendary Ring quest. Check the link in the description for Wowhead's guides and loot tables for Halls of Blood. Speaking of Wowhead, they have actually updated their website to be much more optimized for mobile. So if you've gone to wowhead.com on your phone and been frustrated because it was hard to navigate. They've fixed it. It's much more streamlined and easier to use on your phone. Check it out. On to a little of the Comic-Con coverage of the Warcraft movie. We found out quite a few things. There are many panels, many sites. Many, many people have put together the images and video clips that they have gathered from Comic-Con. So of course, everything I've found regarding this will be linked in the description because I love all the links, okay? I go to YouTube videos and when I find something out or hear somebody talking about something and I don't get everything that I want from them, I wanna know where I can find more. So I always link stuff. Don't worry about it, I got you. Legendary, which is the company who is making the Warcraft movie led by Duncan Jones, has released a video, Warcraft, Skies of Azeroth, on their YouTube channel. This video is best viewed on your phone if you get the legendary VR app and have Google Cardboard, okay? So it's a thing that you put on your phone and you go like this and it makes the image like spherical, like 360 and almost 3D like, if the video is optimized for that, of course. You can also just view it on your computer, which honestly mostly satisfies me. I wouldn't mind seeing it with the Google Cardboard, but I don't, really feel like buying the Google Cardboard either. If you go to Legendary's Facebook, you can actually share one of their posts if you scroll down and find it regarding the Google Cardboard, and you can enter to win your own set. Otherwise, Google, Google Cardboard, and you'll see a place where you can purchase a set of your own. As you can see here though, there is an in-browser version which requires Chrome to be able to look around. You can click with your mouse and actually look around as you fly over Stormwind. It's pretty badass. I actually enjoyed it, just in the browser. Now what I would love to see is all you nerds talking about what's different in this layout of Stormwind than the in-game version of Stormwind, because there are things. Even my little eyes saw that. Aside from the Skies of Azeroth teaser we were shown at Comic-Con, We were also told about a graphic novel, Warcraft, Bonds of Brotherhood. It leads up and kind of sets the stage for the Warcraft movie and gives you some pre-lore, if you will. Bonds of Brotherhood was said to be released in May 2016, mere weeks before the release of the Warcraft movie, June 10th. In addition to Skies of Azeroth showing us the layout and beauty of our well-known Stormwind at Comic-Con, they also had live props that were used in the movie so you can see the characters and items that were used. Just use your imagination and just make the movie in your head. Save all the dollars. There's a video overview of many of the characters and props here, and there are also many images in the links below. One of the links I will label It has an interview with Duncan Jones talking about the movie, his experiences and future hopes. A couple of things I will mention is that he hopes to do a trilogy. I suppose that really ultimately depends on the success or lack thereof 
of the Warcraft movie that they have just made. He also stated that the Warcraft movie is almost done. And one of his main goals while making the Warcraft movie was that it would be mentally accessible and entertaining to people who play Warcraft all the way to people who have never touched a Warcraft game. At Comic-Con, they did a panel hosted by Chris Hardwick, and it was actually quite entertaining. One thing that finally clicked in my head when I watched this panel was that Travis Bimmel, the main guy from Vikings, is actually in the Warcraft movie playing Anduin Lothar. I don't think they say it in the panel. I kind of IMDb'd it, because once I saw his face, I went, what? He's an orc, right? Duh. And then I looked. He's playing Anduin. Okay, whatever. We'll see. Anyway, if you'd like to see the panel with the cast and some behind the scenes faces of Warcraft, check the annotation here. Warcraft Chronicles, the book, volume one, is an up and coming way to learn more about the lore behind Warcraft. Volume one centers around Warcraft one. And I guess from there, they'll just be moving on up to uh, the whole, it'd be really cool to see how the stories connect. Some of you know the lore like really know the lore. Some of the people I've seen ask questions at past BlizzCons know the freaking lore. I don't. I'm bad at following in-game lore. I'm so terrible. So I will look forward to reading this myself. Then I can be that nerd. And last but not least, before I send you off to all of the many links regarding the Warcraft movie, images and information, another thing Comic-Con brought us was some exclusive loot at the Warcraft store. I mentioned it in a previous video, but we didn't know about Stitches. Stitches is freaking adorable. He's a plush and he's spilling his guts, just like in the game. Other things include the Murloc Pop 3 pack, the white Murloc mug, the Art of Warcraft, the Legendary Lanyard, Hearthstone Lanyard, and Gromash Statue. Links in the description, but I mean, you can see most of it here if you click this annotation. Those of us that don't like to scroll, you know, they made a video for us. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Definitely check back every Wednesday for news and gaming videos in between. I live stream on Monday and Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, Monday playing Final Fantasy 14 and Thursday playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Friday at 7.40 p.m. Pacific time, I play World of Warcraft and raid with my guild. All streams are done at twitch.tv slash tyranny. Side note, this Thursday I will not be streaming because I have some appointments in the way of that, but I will see you Friday at 7.40 Pacific Time at Raid Time. I hope to see you there, but until then, have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye!